Flying a drone is a lot of fun, but there are important rules you have to follow here in the US. Whether you're flying for fun or for work, knowing the basics will keep you safe, legal, and stress-free. Let's dive in. Hey everyone, I'm Adam with UAV Coach, where we've helped over 350,000 drone pilots get certified and stay compliant. We get questions about drone rules every single day. So let's break down the main ones you need to know. If you're flying recreationally, meaning just for fun, not for money, you need to follow the FAA's recreational drone flyer rules. First, fly only for fun or recreation. No side jobs or volunteer work for nonprofits is allowed. Next, you need to pass the trust test which is the Recreational UAS Safety Test. It's free, online, takes about half an hour, and is required. You can take it through the link below. Third, register your drone on the FAA's Drone Zone website if it weighs more than 250 grams or 0.55 pounds. If your drone is registered, then it must also have built-in remote ID or an external remote ID module attached. Next, you need to keep your drone within visual line of sight meaning you have to be able to see it with your own eyes. You'll need to fly at or below 400 feet above ground level in uncontrolled airspace, also known as Class G airspace. If you want to fly in controlled airspace, like Class B, C, D, or E, you'll need to get airspace authorization. You can do this through Lance with apps like Autopilot or Aloft. You are not allowed to fly over people, moving vehicles, or near emergency response efforts. And finally, stay away and yield to other aircraft. That's the recreational side. Pretty straightforward once you know the basics. If you're flying for business purposes, which is anything where you're making money or even posting on social media for revenue purposes, you fall under the FAA's Part 107 rules. Here's what's required. You must be at least 16 years old, you have to pass the FAA Part 107 Aeronautical Knowledge Test. We have an online test prep course called Drone Pilot Ground School that helps you study and pass the exam on your first try, linked below. Once you pass, you'll get a remote pilot certificate, which is basically your drone license. And here are the main rules you'll operate under. You must register your drone regardless of weight. Your drone must have remote ID or be equipped with an external remote ID module. Drones must weigh under 55 pounds. You always need to fly within visual line of sight. The maximum altitude you can fly at is 400 feet above ground level or 400 feet above a structure if you maintain a 400 foot radius of that structure. You can fly in controlled airspace if you get approval through Lance. If you want to fly in zero grid areas like near airports or higher than posted altitudes, you can get further coordination through the FAA drone zone which requires submitting a waiver for a real person to look at and approve. The top speed you can fly at is 100 miles per hour. You must yield to manned aircraft as they always have the right of way. You cannot fly over people or moving vehicles unless your drone fits specific categories, has remote ID, prop guards, and an anti-collision light, or has a certified ASTM parachute. The biggest differences between commercial and recreational drone rules are commercial pilots must register their drones no matter the weight, and they can apply for waivers to fly in restricted areas like zero grid airspace or even other people and vehicles. So here's the quick breakdown. Recreational flyers need to take the trust test while commercial flyers need to pass the part 107 exam. The core rules are mostly the same, but commercial pilots get more flexibility through waivers. If you follow these, you'll be flying legally and confidently. Let us know if you have any other questions about drone rules, and if you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future drone videos. Until next time, blue skies and safe flying.